Hello, students. Let's go through this question. Right? Okay. I'm I'm going to highlight the important keywords. Diagram A. As you can see, shows a graph of nonlinear equation. This is a nonlinear equation. And diagram B. Diagram B. Of course, it is. A straight line graph right it's a straight line so it is a linear equation so let's see we have a linear equation I'm going to highlight the keywords so that we won't miss out the important point the straight line obtained when the nonlinear equation is expressed in linear form this is a linear line Meaning that we are going to do something to convert this graph into this graph. That is called nonlinear equation here, straight line here. Okay, now you look at the axis of the two graph. The nonlinear is y, the linear one is y over x, the nonlinear is x, the linear one is x, right? So from the linear one, we will write y equal to m x plus c. Okay, so we are going to solve the value of c, p, and q. Now, first of all, we need to find the a gradient for the straight line first. No matter how, we need to make sure we know how to read the gradient so the big y is y over x that means the gradient will be p and then the intercept will be c so how to find the gradient is we are going to find the y intercept and the x intercept so meaning that in order to find the value of c value of p and value of q we can actually compare the points 1 negative 4 and the 2 negative 18 right we are going to use the equation p x plus c okay since the small x and small y uh, there in the point represent by small x small y so we can substitute negative 4 over 1 equal to p 1 plus c and then for another point is negative 18 over 2 equal to p 2 plus c hence if we simplify we will get to equation and then we can solve the two equations simultaneously so this is uh, i think we will express c in terms of y, uh, c in terms of p c is negative 4 minus p right so we call this as 1 and then we're going to substitute the c into the number 2 so let's see we have negative 9 is equal to 2p when we see the c we will substitute with this minus 4 minus p hence we got negative 9 plus 4 is equal to p it means that the p can be fine the p is negative 5 after we got a negative 5 we can find the c c is negative 4 minus negative 5 that means it's 5 minus 4 which is 1 c is 1 and then we are going to solve the q the q is a gradient here the p is a gradient p is negative c over q we can use the intercept all right so that means the p 
is negative 5 and just now we got c is 1 so meaning that negative 5 is equal to negative 1 over q so that means we are having negative 5 q equal to negative 1 hence q is equal to 1 over 5 all right that's how we solve the constant by comparing the the gradient and using the point from the linear equation to solve the value of the p which is negative 5 we have p which is negative 5 here and we have the c which is 1 and we have the q which is 1 over 5 so that's all my sharing about solving the linear and non-linear equation till then bye bye and have a nice day